sport na uh, we belong to, na kasama din kami. Uh, pinakamahirap na part for me was actually getting an opponent. Kasi sobrang konti namin dito sa Philippines na uh, female MMA fighters and most of them are not are not in my weight class. They uh, they are so small, smaller than me. So actually, that's the first challenge na na encounter ko. And I have to do with uh, competing in other sports muna just to stay focused for the for the for the bigger uh, ano tawag ito? for the bigger dream talaga. Na waiting for the for the moment na pwede ka na ulit lumaban ng MMA na nakahanap kasi na ng kalaban mo. I have to do with competing with jiu-jitsu, wrestling, Muay Thai. I have been a part of the national team, and that's a blessing in disguise for me. Because sobrang hindi ako na hindi ako na bakante for the past few years. So that would be uh, the biggest challenge for me. Eh. Yung wala nang wala makita kalaban sa yon. Yung nahihirapan sila ng humarap ng kalaban, especially here in the Philippines. Uh, and second is of course hindi hindi ko pa na feel na parang uh, yung yung lights or yung yung focuses na sa amin talaga. Of course, uh, every time mag uh, mag headline or every time we event in URCC, it's always the guys who are in the headlines, never us. But of course, that's why we're here. We're uh, yun yung nilalakad natin. That's why we we are pinapaganda namin yung platform for the girls. That's why we're gonna fight on Saturday sa 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 Araneta para makita ng tao na we're not just for the for the alam niyo yung pang coming event we can also be the main event in the future so yeah i pass the mic to Denny. hello good evening everyone um, for me um, being a female fighter is not easy but it's fun ikaw naman kung si ko kayo po kung love mo naman yung inaawa mo di ba may enjoy mo naman yun um, if you train with the best, uh, with the best teammates, coaches, um, magagawa mo naman kung ano yung gusto mong magawa sa page. <laughs> yeah, uh, that being said, Jelly is one of our most exciting and uh, talented champions that we've had. And so is uh, Denise, he's an up and coming fighter. He's also very, very exciting to watch, and we're very, very proud to have him in the URCC roster. Um, she said as a female fighter, of course, there are some, some parts where it's very hard, you know, it's hard to find opponents, it's hard to get a fight, but she's very happy that um, she can fight a great fighter like Jelly. Um, it's her first time to fight in, in a flyweight, uh, but she said she's very happy, she's very honored, and her goal is to become a champion and fight in the big leagues. So until then, she says she's going to keep fighting no matter what the weight is, no matter who the opponent is, she's going to keep going. Hi everyone, first of all, it's really an honor to meet everyone here and um, meet you from Korea. Uh, actually, there's not many female fighters in the world in Korea too. So, but actually my weight division is autumn weight, but you know, I came upper weight division because I want to fight. And, um, I've been ex inspired by many female fighters and I want to be the one who can inspire many female fighters in her. Thank you. These two lady fighters are the number one, are, uh, and Jenny is number one top fighter in the Philippines, and also Gian is from Korea, who's the number one fighter. So this is going to be an exciting event, so can you please tell that to our friend, to your friends, and to all of your friends to, you know, uh, spread it and make it a headline that there's uh, two uh, fighters from, is between Korea and the Philippines.
Thank you. So do we have any more questions?